So this video looks into how to uh, generate music in BandLab for Education and eventually making uh, sheet music of the project in MuseScore. Um, I guess that many musicians and creators are not uh, so skilled in writing the scores directly. So it's easier to, to, to generate the music in the piano rolls. And also there's an element of trial and error and uh, innovativeness um, in this process. So it's easier to finalize the music first and then generate the score afterwards. And um, there is actually a way so that this can be done more or less automatically. And this is what I will demonstrate here. So I will start a new personal project here. Um, no, thank you. As if I never tried this before. Okay, so what I'll do is that I will add a track. And for this project, we will use virtual instruments. We will make ourselves a piece of African styled uh, drum music with only two voices. So um, first I will find myself an instrument and uh, we are working with drums. And there is a drum kit here called Afro-Cuban Percussion, which uh, is suitable for this project. So I'll choose that. So I could name my instrument here. And um, well, either you could name it per instrument or per function. I will uh, make myself a basic ostinato that runs um, under, under the whole project here. So now I'm ready to enter the actual sounds. So I will go into the media editor, which is uh, the piano roll type. Um, and here we can hear the instruments. I, I think I use the, well, this is not a snare drum, but the, what is called the snare drum and the, the rim shot here. I'll these two because it seems like, um, well, banging a drum and hitting the side of it with a stick. That could be a thing. Uh, next thing is the subdivision of the bar here. So if we look into one bar here, as we can see now, it is set to be 16 notes. If I wanted to change it, I could right click here and change the grid size of it. So if I wanted eighth notes or triplets, I could change it here. So, But um, I think for the ostinato here, I want 16th notes. So I'll just make myself a simple ostinato that runs um, under the whole thing. So um, I'll hit the pencil over here and draw some notes. I think, I, oh no, not that one I want. I think I want the drum to hit all, all beats. Something like this. Oh, let's hear it. By the way, you can, uh, if you change this, if you set up this here, this is actually the, the, you could say the loop function. So you can set now set it to loop the first bar. So I could just uh, keep it looping and then change the content uh, while I'm working. That sounds fairly good. I'll keep that. So this is my uh, this is my basic ostinato, and this should probably run over a larger part of the composition. So I will roll out a loop. So I'll use the the loop tool up here just to roll it out as a loop. So for example, eight bars uh, of a loop here. And if you want to loop the whole section, you change the looping section here. You turn it on and off by just clicking here. Okay, fine. Now I will add a track. Uh, either you go through the whole process again by adding a track, finding the same drum kit, etc., or you click here and choose duplicate. Now I don't want the content, so I will uh, delete it. 
change the name here. Um, uh, so this is this is going to be a solo drum, and um, then again MIDI editor, and um, find instruments that could work. I like the kick sound a lot, um, and again, yeah, fill in the notes here or the the blank spaces with whatever content you want to put in there. Um, There, here you should be aware of the length of the notes because uh, if you're using a lot of varied note lengths um, you should uh, fill out the whole beat for example because that will look better when you uh, score the whole thing uh, and uh, there are a few few weird things here but As you can see, it it does weird stuff. And here, maybe it can uh, become handy to change the grid size. Let's say you wanted to uh, put in some eighth triplets, then you change the whole thing to H. Uh, triplets and you can uh, easily put in eighth triplets here and you can even uh, change it to quarter note triplets for example and uh, do stuff like that so um, let's just say that uh, we are done with this so I know I'm, I know I'm aware that this is not a full long ostinato so if, if it is i can run this back a little so it's of equal length um, so it's a working ostinato here um, maybe i should have filled in the last couple of beats here something like that and everybody is happy so Let's say that I'm happy with these three bars here, uh, a weird uh, size maybe, but uh, hey, this is what it is. Um, and now I want to export uh, what I wrote here to uh, to uh, mute score. So um, I'll close all these first. By the way, don't save. Don't save. And don't say I'll, I'll just start from scratch here but before I do that I will have to export the content here and uh, these things here work as regions so um, before I do anything else I'll make sure that I have one single region in each uh, voice here so I right click here and merge as one region I believe that this is actually one region so I can't change it so what I do now is I export the regions so here export region as MIDI because so I'm sending out the MIDI files now because I can open oh sorry I can open the MIDI files in uh, in your score so export region as MIDI so now I download it to MIDI files directly to my uh, to my uh, laptop here so they will be uh, here in downloads somewhere um, here they are called uh, the solo drum and the other one is just called region I suppose yeah region number four I don't know I forgot it, it, it sort of didn't it was not okay. It was not named correctly. Never mind that. So, what you do now is you open your score, and uh, <clears throat> in your score, we will import the MIDI files. So you can open MIDI files directly here. 
So the solo drum will be opened as one voice here. Um, and the one called me uh, region four, which is my ostinato. Cool. Now I have, have to make myself a completely new uh, document to assemble these things in. Um, so while we are waiting on that, Uh, okay, here. So we will uh, have to choose some instruments here. I take it that you're familiar with uh, how this works, but um, uh, you can choose for various uh, types of bands here. I think that's what I'm looking for could be found in either the orchestra, maybe. Uh, so percussion, on pitch percussion, uh, bongos, for example, and a bass drum for the solo thing, or maybe concert toms, I'm not sure. Try something, you can always change it. So done, sets up. Um, uh, maybe the toms was a bad idea, but ne never mind that for now. Uh, you can try this out. So what I do now is that I will go for the two ostinatos here, or the two uh, voices here, and I'll copy the content. So just control C. And uh, over here, insert. And do the same with this voice here. Copy and insert. And now you have a nice looking score with both instruments here. Sounds very different, not very um, <clears throat> African styled, but it doesn't matter because it's the notation we are after. So now we can use this for our report or whatever we're doing. And uh, the last thing you uh, would want to do is to generate an MP3 file with the content from this. Um, and you can simply do that by going here and on the project, uh, download, mix down. And um, it will create a mixed town. And in a moment, you will be able to choose the uh, file format. And uh, what we want to use here is the MP3 format. And uh, while this takes a while, though, OK, here we are. So um, I would. Since this is not a very long file or a very long piece of music, I would always go with the highest quality MP3. So um, just press here and it will download. Once compiled. But that's uh, how you do it. There we are. And uh, you can uh, submit this or play it on your PC. That was all for today. Hi.